we're here at the New Forest show. I'm Nancy from Hampshire Fair and I'm going to talk to Rupert from Conquer Gin. Hello Rupert. Hello. I'm very good. How's the show going so far? Yeah, it's been brilliant, thank you. Yeah, it's our first year doing this, this show, so you know, we're pleasantly surprised. Now, am I right in thinking that you've gone from surveying to distilling? Yeah, it definitely leads you to drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, April 14 was my last day as a chartered surveyor and uh, when I started doing this full time. What brought that about? What was it that motivated you to sort of move away from your current role but also into gin? Why gin? Yeah, I think so just generally my current role, what I was doing, I just lost the love for, you know, sitting in front of a desk, an email, you know, just really drove me down. Always wanted to do something for myself and then just had a kind of light bulb moment uh, sitting in a bar one day thinking you can buy local beers really easily. Um, come, come, when it comes to gin and tonic it's always the kind of big three brands and I thought wouldn't it be great to order a Dorset gin and tonic. Do you know what something that I think is becoming a bit of a theme is a lot of ideas seem to be coming from the pub the or pub. a bar yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. uh, but you have produced something alcoholic so I think that that makes a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah. Um, now you obviously incorporate local flavours into your gin can you tell us a bit more about about those please? Yeah absolutely obviously gin like is naturally is kind of a very exotic product you know it uses things like juniper and coriander seed which have to come from far field but um, I thought it wouldn't be great when I was developing the recipe to kind of take, kind of substitute those botanicals for ones which do the same job that can be found locally. Um, so um, the first one that we started to introduce was um, elderberries, um, which kind of gives a lovely kind of blue fruit, almost blueberry feel um, to the gin, which is quite cooling, which is quite nice. Um, and the other sort of Dorset uh, inspired botanical is samphire. Um, usually really salty thing, you have, have it with fish, you know, with your dinner. But distilled, it's actually really sweet and it's actually like a green tea, so you get all the green flavours through. So again, I found that work to work really well. And then finally, the kind of champion of Conquer, Conquer Gin is um, the gorse flowers. So the, we forage, we have a licence with the New Forest uh, um, to forage these uh, and they give a really kind of beautiful freshness to the gin. It's almost like kind of nectar sweetness. Um, so all together, with the, we have seven other botanicals as well that are more traditional. Um, so ten botanicals in all. Um, yeah, creates a kind of really kind of tasty gin and tonic. Uh, sounds amazing. <laughs> um, and have you had comments back about the unique flavour of the gin? Yeah, I, people are I'm always surprised by it. I think that's the best thing that people sort of say, "Oh, oh I'm not sure I want to drink it neat," because they, they they know what they're used to, and they're always sort of like, "Oh, wow, that's lovely. That's really fresh." And 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 then with with tonic as well, because we use lime peel, it actually stands up on its own, so you don't need much garnish because it's quite it's quite zesty. Um, so yeah, I always get off on people's reactions and like that's now it's good <laughs> and if you uh, when you sell a bottle do you sort of feel that you need to tell them just the best way to serve it what I mean what yeah. are your tips for serving the best gin and tonic or not gin and tonic any other recommendations yeah I think I've, yeah I've become quite picky but I think the, the key thing is like the right glass because I think the right glass making there's something really nice crisp edge on the glass um, ice that isn't too doesn't um, melt too much so keeping your tonic cool so you don't get too much ice melt diluting it. Um, a good tonic, I use fever tree um, and then with, with conquer all you need is a strip of lime peel because it's, it doesn't need the juice, you know. So. Um, good good tip, yeah. I like that. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, uh, well you have had a year was it before you sold a, a bottle practice, so a yeah. year's practice yeah. when yeah the, you were, that was your focus. Yeah. Um, and do you incorporate water from the new forest, That's is that right? right? Yeah, so um, we use um, spirit that comes from British wheat um, and New Forest spring water. So we literally drive around to their to their um, well and fill up these great big tanks and, and make our gin with it. So yeah, so in every bottle, about 60% is um, New Forest water. Fantastic. And you talk about all these processes, foraging the ingredients, getting the water, yeah. distilling it. Is that you in charge of every element? Do you have a team yeah. yet? Uh, I've had a team as of uh, last Monday, but as, up until then it was just me. Um, so it's two of us now. But yeah, for a whole well year and a half that I've been doing it's one man band stuff. So yeah, it's... Um, it's quite a lot of work. <laughs> and um, obviously friends and family have been known, you know, you gave up your job. Yeah. Some people, they make the product first, then give up their, yeah. their uh, job. You went the other route. Did you have to convince friends and family? Were they behind you from the beginning? 
yeah, everyone was really behind me, I think. I think because of my enthusiasm for it. And also, I think they got it. I think they thought, wow, yeah, Dorset does need a gin. And, and I was really unhappy with what I was doing. And yeah, my girlfriend, we lived off her wage for a year because it took me a year to, to, to sell the first bottle because there's so much involved with licensing and it's, you know, getting it all straight. So yeah, but everyone's been fantastic. The worst one was telling my employers and I was expecting them to sort of think, you fool, what are you doing? But actually they were like, oh, that's a really good idea. Good luck, can't wait. And have you posted them a bottle or dropped one off? Not yet, actually. They've, they, have, um, they have had some in the past, but yeah, I keep meaning to kind of turn up and put pop, pop, pop on the desk. I think you definitely need yeah. to do that when the summer yeah, calms down. Exactly. Um, and you, do you, can you still end the day with a gin and tonic or have you had enough gin and tonic? I try to end it with, a, yeah, I like, I like my kind of ales and craft ales, so I try to kind of not drink it too much because there's so many opportunities to drink it. Um, and the last thing you want to do is get, you know, kind of get bored of a gin and tonic. But I don't, to be honest. I get, I love it, and I, I, yeah, I do crack into it. And it is the summer, and, and it is particularly yeah, good in the yeah, summer. And it's my job. I've got to. You have to. In the name of research. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, where can people buy your gin? Um, so um, we are in wine shops and delis and farm shops across Hampshire, into Winchester, and right across Dorset. You can go onto the Conquer Spirit website, conquerspirit.co.uk, and from there, there's a buy it now button. Um, and just you know, and just ask us. You know, we're, we're developing the website so you can find out where we're stocked. Um, so yeah. And where did the name Conquer come from? Conquer just came out of nowhere. It was almost came accident. We got text to me by accident in, in a text response from my girlfriend when I said I was going to make gin. Just one word, Conquer. And I was confused, but thought, wow, that's a great word. And from then on, we. Um, what it. was she meaning? Bonkers? Yeah. Or? She's a teacher, so she was writing a list. She uses her phone ah, to write lists. Okay. And so in reply to my text, she sent it by accident. It was really strange, but then within two minutes of an idea to make gin, we had a name, which was great. It's all meant to be, it really. It's meant to be, yeah. And, uh, it just fits, fits what we're trying to do. It's kind of very English, very nostalgic. And uh, it's a word everyone knows, but doesn't re no one really uses it. Yeah. So they It's do a now. strong name. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. It's lovely to meet you. Enjoy yeah. the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Take care. Cheers.